Welcome to this week's Dynamic Drumming Extra Measures, where we take a more measured approach for the book for dynamic drumming, patterns, fills, combos, song studies, and solos. This is week one, so we're going to start with the first pattern of chapter one, straight beat pattern. I'm going to be working with this pattern. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to explore different fills back and forth. So let's get started. Now, before we begin the exercises, we're going to play a straight beat pattern. This is the first pattern of the book, slowly. Now, remember we played our hi-hat, and it sounds like chick. We played our bass drum, and it goes boom. All right. And we alternated bass and snare. So snare bass snare we're going to keep time with the hat okay this is your pulse everything has to match the hi-hat bring it all to the hat one then two right so this is chick this is boom so together it goes choom watch this this is chick this is pop and that goes chop together so you have this is two beats choom chop one, two. That's it. If you can play that, you just repeat that process. One, two, three, four. We're going to take it up a bit. One, two, three, four. Choom, chop, choom, chop. Now you're rocking, and you're ready to play all the exercises in episode one. So let's get to it. Our first fill is going to be quarter notes around the set. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to play the pattern three measures, and then we're going to play the fill, and then we're going to come back. So we're keeping time, we're breaking it down, we're putting it back together again. The transition, what's necessary for you to play in a band. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and. Two, three. Here comes the fill. Back, two, three, four, two, three, do it again. Now, sometimes I'll hit a crash cymbal, and we'll do that on beat one. Once you've played this, that's beat one. You can't come back and then do this. You have to play beat two. So if I wanted to go around, one, two, three, four, one, two. You see how that works? Give it one more measure. Let's do it again. Ready? All right. Some of you have been having problems with that. You tell me I hit my cymbals and the band tells me I'm off beat. Well, it's because you were. You missed the one. All right. I'll show you that later, especially in the song study. All right. Now that we've played this quarter notes pattern around the set, let's do it backwards. Ready? Two, three, four. Time. Two, three, backwards. One, two, three. Number three, we're going to play eighth notes. One and two and three and four and around the set. All right, with the pattern. Two, three, here we go. One, see how I did that? Two, three. All right, we're gonna take those eighth notes backwards. One and two and three and four. All right, here we go. Two, ready, and. Backwards. One, two, three. All right. Here's our next one. We're going to do flams. You do them really pretty. Double gox here. Mm -hmm. 
or whatever they're calling this decade. There you go, flaps. One, two, three. Here we go. I'm gonna go flaps. Mm -mm, I, 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 I. One, two, three. We can do that around the set. One, two, three. Here we go. All right. All right, tap, tap bass. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, two, three. Let's do that with flams. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. Here it comes. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Okay. Tap bass, tap bass. Straight across here. We're just playing snare. One. All right, if you're looking at my study notes, I'm on measure 33. I'm at the top of the next page here. Some of you guys, you missed that turnaround and one. Okay, in book one, I think I mentioned that, but especially in your lessons, I always talk about this boom tune back to the one and one or and one, two. This is the missing link for all those eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one. All right, so here's our pattern. One. Two, three, here it comes. One and two and three and four and one. Did you hear it? Two. This time I'll use a symbol with it. One and two and three and four and one. We go some extra measures here. It's important. Get around there. One and two and three and four and one. All right. Let's do that with flams. Flam bass, flam bass, flam bass, flam bass. Okay. One. Two, ready, and one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, here it comes. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one. All right. Tap bass around the set. One and two and three and four, boom, chum. Back to that. Look at that. Four and one. Okay. All right. One. Two, three, here it comes. One and two and three and four and one. Two, three. One and two and three and four and one. All right, with flams. Flam bass, flam bass, flam bass, flam bass, one. Okay, so the whole pattern fill combination. One, two, three, four, two, three, three, four, three, two. Flam bass, flam bass, flam bass, flam boom, chin. Four, kapow, right? Three, two, here it comes. So, and two, and three, and four, and. Now we can do that backwards. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. All right, so pattern. One, two, three. And two, and three, and four, and one. Woo, two, yeah. Here it backwards, here it comes. So one and two and three and four and. Now, this gets interesting right here. Tap bass, bass, tap bass, bass, tap bass. All right, one and two and three and four and. And two and three and four and one. Got it? Or one and two and three and four and one. Together, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three. And here it comes. So one and two and three and four and one, two, two, three. Let's do that with flams. One and two and three and four and one. All right, ready, go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two. Here come the flams. Flams.
Okay, around the set. One and two and three and four and. All right, with your pattern. One, two, three. One and two and three and four and one. Two, three. Around the set. Okay, for the song study, applying everything that you know with patterns and fills and the combination, you should be able to play a 12-bar blues break. That's what we'll call this, okay? Uh, it's a chorus, as it were. But it's going to include an eight-measure drum break because you've got enough dialogue here that your band is going to want to hear you play. So you're going to take it away here. But first, let's look at the fills, okay? So here's our pattern. One, two, three, four that we've been playing all along here. The first fill. Two, three, four. Okay. The second fill. One and two and three and four and the eighth notes, right? Third fill. Flam, 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 bass, flam, bass. One, two, three, and four and. Okay. Now, this is your solo right here. This is going to be your big drum break. backwards flam bass and that backwards and we're back okay all right so that's how that's going to work now we're ready to play the whole song so mr engineer cue up the backing tracks Hi, Greg Smith, author of Dynamic Drumming. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Dynamic Drumming Extra Measures. Say, if you enjoyed this episode and found it useful, then I hope you'll consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel since we'll be releasing a new lesson just like this every week. If you'd like to support our channel and get more access to dynamic drumming content and helpful resources, check us out on Patreon at the link below where patrons will receive bonus material to accompany every lesson, including music transcriptions, play-along tracks, and a Patreon-exclusive bonus video with faster fills, combos, drum breaks, and even another song study. To learn more about the Dynamic Drumming series or Lessons with Me, then check out our website at dynamicdrumming.llc, and we hope you join us right here next week for another episode of Dynamic Drumming Extra Measures.